Well, welcome to, I think, day six now. Um, got a little bit of progress last time out. Went this morning, spent a couple hours at Home Depot. Picked up some more plywood so I can make my galley area and my separation wall. Um, things seem to be going really good. I got a lot of stuff in the mail, I'll show you. Um, been kind of crazy at work so I haven't been doing a whole lot of other things but you can see the back of my rig there I got a whole bunch of boxes and uh, they're all goodies in there but what I wanted to show you guys first was I actually went down to Home Depot and bought some tough built their uh, saw horses job site table um, very very stable and um, it, it, it's going to be a joy to work on these. So I'm going to take a break for a minute, throw a piece of plywood down on there. And uh, I'm going to break into the goodies and show you guys everything that I've gotten in the mail this week. And I've got some good news about my doors. Uh, be back in just a few minutes. Okay, well, as promised, here's my goodie table. I went out this morning, picked up a couple of pneumatics. Um, I know they're nothing real fancy, but I'm thinking that they'll ask me for a few trailers. Um, and I don't have to mess around with, you know, screwing all this stuff or anything. I mean, fire my, I got a little compressor fired up and I plug these buggers in and let her run and man, get my job done twice as fast. The big one here is my fantastic fan. Um, I believe this is uh, six-speed intake, six-speed exhaust. Um, it's got the thermometer temperature control on it, so it'll automatically start and stop in the heat or the cold. So I'm pretty excited about that one. That'll be fun. Picked up some lights. Uh, as you can tell here, these are just little interior lights. They're LED, and uh, I like them because they pivot. I can move them, twist them, whatever I want to do, anywhere inside if I want to reflect it off the ceiling, uh, anything like that, it'll work. So I'm pretty excited about those. I got uh, just some standard out of the, the door lights here, uh, up over top of my door for entry lights, but I think I might change my ID up there. Um, then I got these little cigarette plug and um, USB chargers. I bought two of them, they're a little bit thick there. Uh, I'm gonna mount one in my galley between the cupboards in the kitchen, about like so. And then uh, I'm not sure about my other, but I figured that way there we can charge phones, we can charge computers, whatever we want, uh, either in the galley or in the sleeping quarters. Now here's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, I've seen a, a gentleman that did a video and he had rotating lights on his his uh, teardrop and he could flip them down this that and I tried to find those mounts I couldn't do it these are I picked these up off of Amazon $27 uh, or excuse me 27 watt uh, waterproof um, I standard waterproof too so I don't remember exactly what it is but they're 27 watt uh, the bad part is their spot rather than flood, but it'll work. So what I'm going to do is I have these ram mounts that someone gave me. I'm actually going to mount it, mount this to the side of the camper. So I'll be able to have it like this, and then I'll be able to twist and fold and move up and down and everything that I want to do with these ram mounts and these lights rather than just the conventional light. I don't know. We'll see. I might do it, I might not. I uh, got some 10 amp or 10 wire here, 10 gauge. Um, in the back of the camper where a 12 volt refrigerator would go, I'm going to pre wire it and then just put an Andrews connector on it. And uh, I'm going to have my battery mounted up front, which brings me into I'm going to have everything run to these Blue C. I uh, picked up a 12 circuit Blue C. Um, I know it's probably overkill, but uh, better to have enough than not enough. 
Uh, as you can see, I picked up a bunch of wire off of Amazon. I figured the different colors would help me decide where everything's going to go to the blue sea and from what device, from when I wire it, label it. Then I bought this little jewel. It's a GCP-1. Um, just mount this on the outside of the camper and the little cord goes inside so I can feed it to a gang outlet. Now I don't have to worry about feeding a cord inside, outside. I don't have a hole that mouse might get through or anything. Just drill, cut that out, pop that bugger through, just plug an extension cord into that and I can have power inside of the teardrop. So that's it. We're having fun. Um, I told you I'd have some news too about my camp, my doors. Let's get this back here. Um, my doors. I finally got doors. Ordered them up through a website called RVPartsNation.com and um, gave me a real good deal on them. I ordered a 40 by 40 left hand hinge door for the back. Uh, ordered my what, 26 by 32 uh, curbside and uh, street side doors for the sides here. They're supposed to be here next week. So I'm going to try to bust the galley out, get my cabinets mounted inside, get it carpeted, get everything done. And then uh, when my doors come, it'd be a matter of just uh, cutting the holes for the doors. My aluminum should be here Tuesday. And uh, hopefully in the next two weeks, I can have this bugger done. We'll see. Thank you all. I appreciate you for watching. And uh, I'm probably going to pack everything up because as you can tell, I'm soaking wet. It's hotter than the heck out here. And uh, I'm dying. So until next time, bye-bye. All right, as you can see, um, I set my table up here and and uh, have been cutting a little bit of wood. So um, put in some cross braces here. A uh, little more surface area to mount to, screw them in. So when I put my plywood on over top, everything will fit just fine. As you can see there, got my mount done for my fantastic fan. Uh, got my back door opening framed and uh, trying to figure out where exactly uh, my cooler is going to fit and uh, right there <laughs> kind of um, what I was doing was setting it up for a uh, ARB fridge right there that's about the same height width depth so I made sure I had enough room inside so I'm gonna call her quits for today. I'm beat. I'm very uh, hot. It's uh, 92 degrees out here. The uh, sun's uh, going in behind the clouds. They're saying we're supposed to have some severe thunderstorms coming. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go in the house and uh, have a, a Coke and um, go enjoy the afternoon. Might even go pick up my granddaughter and uh, Go play a little bit with her. I think tomorrow we're going to take the boat out and go do a little bit of fishing. So, thank you all. Uh, not a lot done, but I did get a lot. So, until next time, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye bye.